I want to tell you a story. Last March, the U.S. Navy sent a ship called the Mercy here to the port of Los Angeles. The Mercy is a massive floating hospital, and it was here to help if our ICUs became overrun with COVID cases. One afternoon, not far from here, a train engineer allegedly pushed the throttle down on his train so he could derail it toward the Mercy. Fortunately, he came to a stop just short of the hospital ship. As a national security and terrorism prosecutor, I worked on that case. See, I wanted to work in counterterrorism because of 9-11. But today, some of our biggest threats are right here at home. And it's not happening by chance. The train engineer told investigators that he thought the Mercy was part of a government conspiracy and that he had to stop it. Sadly, his beliefs are not unique. We've all watched as people have become angrier and more violent as they've heard similar conspiracy theories and QAnon lies ripple across social media and then echo on Fox News. I saw the same thing when I helped prosecute people who attacked the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. This is a systemic problem. Extremists, big tech, and media outlets profiting by spreading division based on lies, even as they erode our democracy and make it easier for adversaries like China and Russia to exploit us but we can stop it. We can update our regulations to break down propaganda networks. We can require big tech, cable news, and talk radio to provide transparency in their advertising. And we can create a modern fairness doctrine so we can actually learn about both sides of an issue. That is the only way Americans can start to agree on basic facts again. And there is a lot of work that we need to do together like reforming our criminal justice system, improving access to healthcare, and growing our economy while also protecting the planet. So let's kick out extreme politicians like Ken Calvert, who spread the big lies, and elect a new generation of leaders willing to save our democracy. At the end of the day, I think most Americans are like me and my partner, Paolo. We wanna spend Thanksgiving arguing about who gets the last of the stuffing, not whether the earth is flat. Because as I tell my uncles every year, the earth is round and that stuffing is mine.